Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias and welcome back to Age of Engineering. I always want to say Age of Empires, but that is a different game completely. Welcome back to Age of Engineering. Uh, last time we made this fancy cool slime sling and some slime boots to go with it so we don't die. Uh, and we were working on getting basically all the parts we need for our hammer. Um, plus waiting on steel. Still waiting on steel. Uh, getting close. I have uh, about nine more that I need to get. Yeah, it's, it's slow, um, but it's working. It'll get there. Uh, we have plenty of power for right now. Uh, eventually we're going to ramp up power production and all sorts of stuff. We're going to have to do a lot of work with uh, IC2, making a lot of machines and all that kind of fun stuff. But right now i just want to get the basic amount of steel that we need i uh, never i never remember to look this just this just requires nether brick and then the slag and blaze powder so that is something uh, i would like to get at some point but not too urgent um but yeah we're about to get the two pieces of steel in here uh and we're gonna need nine more to make the last um bit of steel for the tool forge uh, and then we're also going to need a little bit more steel to kind of progress. We still have to go back and make the metal former at some point, and we will do that. But uh, I want to get the hammer first so that I can go mining, so that I can get plenty of stuff in general. And I will be honest, uh, we're going to need to expand our base again here soon. Our base is going to change drastically. Um, we're not going to use cobblestone, we're actually going to use actual stone, because we're going to put silk touch on the uh, hammer once we make it which is what we're working towards right now so uh, let's throw that in there I'm gonna get the seven and yeah we'll kind of go from there so I'm wearing a little bit more armor I found a bronze uh, found some bronze leggings uh, the map seemed to mess up uh, last time we came over here we found a uh, another temple uh, I think if we stand outside the map will get better I don't know, the map likes to reset for some reason. But, uh, we came out here, found this guy, there was a village, didn't really find much, but, I wonder... I don't want to claim those. Um, how do we unclaim them, though? Right click. That's right. So basically, I went that way for a while. I went south for a bit, and I encountered another village. I uh, didn't really have much there, but uh, a little bit away from the village, there was another slime island, and it was a purple island. So I have a ton of purple slime blocks for the night slime. I went ahead and made that too, just because might as well. So. It was just a little bit of work to get that, but wasn't too bad. So the compressor should be done with these guys. And let's go ahead and throw all those in there. And we're going to leave. We are going to head to the nether and try to uh, try to explore a little bit in there. Um, if we can find blazes, that would be amazing. Um, we need a decent amount of blaze rod. Uh, just to get started for now, but, uh, there was also another sword somewhere. Uh, wasn't this one, was it? I, uh, yes, I think this one I also found. But we have, um, plenty of stuff in here. I can't remember. I never made it. Did I ever find... Yeah, I found the, uh... Oh god, it's been a while, and I play so many different mod packs that I tend to forget where stuff is. Um... I'm trying to remember where... The fortress is right over there. How did we get to it, though? Where is our path down there? Um... Uh... Oh yeah, because I saw that one... And I think I started working my way towards it and discovered there's another one right next to it. And that one was a little bit easier to get to. Am I right on that? I think I'm right on that because that's where we died. Um, 
Yeah, because that's where we got that stuff. So, I actually want to take off the slime boots because they can be a pain. Um, if you fall too far, you start bouncing. Yeah, right there it is. Uh, we need to eat some draconium right there, which is kind of cool. Uh, and our path down is not there. It's over there, but whatever. A little bit of fall damage. Now, I do want to go ahead. You know, let's, uh, let's close this up a little bit. Make it a little safer. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a waypoint right here that says uh, Fortress. Just so it's easier. Uh, we don't need it right now because we're here. So let's head in there and see what we can find. So there is already some blazes. They already see me. We need to go up. Let's go in one more block. Uh, we also need this nether brick. So it's not a bad thing to have. Alright, so, there's one, let's retreat, uh, we need to find nether ward, that's the, the main thing that we need from this, not so much the blaze rods right now, we can come back for the blaze rods later, uh, once we're ready to make the blast bricks, it's the nether ward that we need in order to make potions, which I would like to do in order to get more uh, in order to get out more of the uh, to get potions so that we can get more blaze rods with a fire resist because uh, that's going to be the best way so let's just run over here there is blaze spawner there and there um, there are tunnels there so, we're aggroing a lot of mobs. Let's come this way. And I see a chest. So, uh, this is the best chance for us to get uh, basically any of the stuff we need. By the way, uh, this formation with the nether brick and lava, uh, that is a Tinker's Construct thing. They've kind of co-opted so that you can make... Uh, oh, what do they call it? Also, we're going to get some... A little bit of lag from that lava over there. Uh, demon steel. You can make demon steel with uh, that configuration. Uh, that will come in handy later, but we don't really need it right now. And here's a bunch of soul sand and nether wart. So let's grab this stuff. Um, and we'll just continue exploring for a little bit and then head back and hopefully most of the steel will be done and we'll kind of take a look at what's coming up next uh, because the next we're pretty much ready to start looking into the next uh, age so anything good dark boots that's nice bunch of food jokor they stack so I'm gonna take the books um, let's wear the dark boots it's gonna give us a uh, jump boost I don't know I like that and flippers which swimming faster that I do like so really haven't encountered any skeletons uh, wither skeletons that is really haven't encountered much of anything uh, that is nothingness <laughs> uh, that is a quick way to die and I don't really want to die in here again I don't like these boots I don't like the jump boost. I wish I could take that off. I am sure there's a way. I'm just, I will be honest, I'm not really familiar with uh, the dark armor. Some more nether wart. Let's go ahead and take this. At least one row. Zombie pigman. Ooh, diamantine crystals. That is actually really nice. I'll uh, put the gold chest plate on. And nothing else over here. Uh, so it's looking like we've explored most of this area. 
there's a gas. That's <laughs> literally a circle. Uh, we've got um, not much. There's a wither skeleton over there. Another one over there. Now we do need to figure out how to get out of here. I vaguely remember. We can also go down. There's another chest. Always look before you open chests. Some more, more nether wart, some gold. I don't really need all these saddles. So I'm going to keep those there. And another chest. Cool. And this is probably one of the last ones. Sinister B. Iron. Uh, we don't need these books. We don't honestly need the uh, the armor. So we'll call it a day. Um, I'm going to take the chest just so I don't have to uh, make more. And fire. I think we came around like so. No. Um, is there another blaze right? No. Alright, it's one of these paths. And I know that it leads to this guy. Oh, hi, Mr. Skeleton. Uh, I don't want the bones. We've already got a drill core, but... Uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bear it. I'm going to put the, the boots on. Hopefully this doesn't kill me uh, from the jump boost. But this should be... Okay, we have a wither skeleton. So let's kill him. Uh, I'd love to take the coal. We can go ahead and make some torches out of that. And let's get out of here. Just pop down here. If the wither skeleton saw us, he might jump, but I don't think so. Uh, it's also got step assist. Ugh. I hate that. I, I actually dislike step assist. I know some people just absolutely love it. I'm not one. Uh, mostly because it it throws me. Uh, a lot of times I will use uh, the different, like, I'll, I'll use ledges for kind of protection or safety with, like, those safety rails. It completely changes how those work. And falling into holes is terrifying in the nether. Um, but let's just get back to the portal. And we'll see kind of what's next for us. We'll start getting some work done on what's next. And go from there. So, uh, let's just go through the portal. And kind of see what we got. So, the dark boots, definitely going to turn those off. Uh turn them off. I'm definitely going to take them off. I'll, I'll wear the slime boots. They're a little bit more manageable. Let's go ahead and sleep. And we have uh, a little bit of blaze rods. Uh, we have more of these magic capacitors. And or I don't even know what they're called. They're just capacitors. Um, a bunch of nether wart. Wow. Uh, dark armor. Don't care. We got some bees. Uh, those will come in handy later. Uh, the bees, we... Uh, so this pack requires you to do bees. Um, and I know a lot of people dislike bees. I'll try to keep that to the minimum, but we're still going to do it. Uh, because we have to. And because... Uh, I've like I've said before, I've watched uh, Direwolf play through this mod pack. Um, he went ahead and installed Gendistry. This mod pack does not have Gendistry in it. Uh, he went ahead. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. Um, he went ahead and installed Gendistry. I'm not gonna do that just because I don't really want to. Um, kind of ruins the spirit, in my opinion, of the mod pack. I'm gonna go ahead and do bees like you're supposed to. You don't need to do too much with them, so it's not that big of a deal. 
but uh, I still have a little bit of stuff in my inventory. Drill core stack, cool. Um, so while we wait for the rest of the steel, let's kind of take a look ahead and start making some stuff that we can. So if we look at the guide, the next... I was already looking at the guide, by the way, before this episode. The next big thing is we need RF power. Um, we're going to be making the calculator. That is the first thing we need to craft. That is actually what is uh, required for age two. So if we look at the calculator, um, this one, it is mostly just some cobblestone and a little bit of stone, but then it does require a steel mechanical component. Um, which you can get from machinists. Okay, so a little bit of steel, four steel. Uh, I could take it out of this, but I'm gonna wait because I'd rather have the hammer. Uh, but everything else is just stone or uh, cobblestone. Uh, now I do believe we need to charge it. I don't think it comes with any charge. We'll see once we make it. Uh, and if we have to charge it, we ha just have to make a power cube which is kind of cool, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, the screen, by the way, is just a single piece of redstone with some cobblestone and yeah. So let's get the stone and cobblestone ready. We need two stone and a bunch of cobblestone. We have a little bit. We're going to probably need to get more at some point, but uh, we also need a piece of redstone. So we'll make the calculator display. Uh, I'm kind of mad about that. Not going to lie. All right, so we need to cook up another piece of stone. <laughs> uh, I am a little mad about that. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, it's just a piece of tiny coal with a little bit of our limited cobblestone. Uh, one bad thing about the hammer that we're going to be using uh, we're not going to be able to get cobblestone normally, so something we might want to do, um, can we get a cobblestone generator? Uh, I can output into an inventory above. That's important. So six cobblestone, a piece of glass, and two buckets of lava. I think we can handle that. Or two buckets, rather. One with lava, one with uh, water. So... Let's go ahead and get that going, um, just because it's going to be easier in the long run to go ahead and get uh, a cobblestone generator. And then uh, the other thing I want to actually grab is a drawer. So I just want a basic drawer, um, just a chest and six wood. We're going to use oak wood because I like the look of oak wood better than acacia. Uh, and then we'll just use one of these chests. Actually, these can all go up in there. And this will basically be how we get the cobblestone out. Uh, so this is going to be pretty simple. Uh, we need a piece of glass. So let's cook that up. And while we're just sitting here, let's grab a little bit of coal. And it's still there. It just disappears. It's a weird, if you accidentally click, it's a weird thing that happens. Don't fret. Um, it's okay. But we should have our crushed iron, and we can let this go ahead and go. So, steel takes so long to make. Um, especially when we're out of power. Uh, let's fix that before this starts draining too much power. Uh, we'll throw five in there. That should be more than enough. Um, we can collect the experience. So there's another bucket. Let's go ahead and just take this bucket. And we'll make our cobblestone generator for when we want cobblestone. And the thing about the... Uh, the generator so there are multiple tiers and you use the previous tier to make the one the next one so the next one requires some stone and some iron and then diamonds and stone blaze rods and stone and then emeralds and stone um, I don't really care about that as much because right now 
This makes one cobblestone block every 40 ticks. The next one is every 20, every 10, every 5, and then every tick. Um, but they only hold so many blocks. It might not be a bad idea to upgrade that to the second tier. Um, we get our buckets back. So uh, we needed the second bucket, but we don't have to grab a third. I wasn't sure on that. So what we can do is we can go ahead and take our four. Um, we're going to take our iron because I have a little bit still. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade this as soon as we can get some stone. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is, for the time being, put it right here. And like I said, um, in the next couple of episodes, I'm probably going to rework this entire base. Uh, this is all cobblestone. We're probably going to change that to stone just because it's going to be more available to us. Um, with our hammer, I'm going to get a lot of stone because silk touch. Um, it's just one of those things that is a thing um, and then as we get more diamonds and stuff we can upgrade this the uh, generator if we need to um, right now I don't really see much use for it so passively generating is all we're gonna need so we should be able to just put this down right here and there we go cobblestone perfect that's what I wanted to see so we are like way too many left uh, so I'm going to hold off on the hammer and the next iron that we get which we should get here in a moment uh, we're gonna go ahead and just jump into the calculator now there are some choices that we have for uh, generating RF and I don't know what is gonna be the best I think I know which one I want to go with though so we'll kind of take a look at it here in a moment uh, once we get the steel I wish this didn't take nearly as many steel plates it takes four steel plates it's 36 steel and this thing is so slow but I will let that run for a while um, so in order to make the calculator we need this calculator assembly which is four more buttons and uh, basically just some co cobblestone, but then the steel mechanis mechanical component, uh, which we need a piece of copper for. Just one. All right, so steel, 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 copper gives us the steel mechanical component. I believe it's like this. We'll make the buttons. There's the calculator assembly, plus that, plus some cobblestone, which we had exactly enough, and we should be able to make the calculator. Uh, and this will trigger the next age. Uh, the neat thing about this is it's going to unlock a lot of stuff for us, and we're going to be able to... Uh, it's like... Cool, we got a trophy. Uh, it's like the fourth age that I think is Ender.io, fifth age. This is where we're going to be able to actually start automating things and getting a little bit better um, settled. So it's going to be a while before we are ready to do a lot of work. But then eventually we're going to build a new base in the uh, mining dimension because that seems like a good place for me. Um, a place that's eternal day. Yeah, I would like that, please. Um, alternatively, we can make an RF tools dimension or we could go to space or... And a bunch of other things, but I think I want to go to the um, mining dimension. We'll get a stack of cobblestone. And yeah, so we are going to have to charge this calculator. So that means we need a couple things. We need uh, something that can actually store energy. Right now, the only thing we can make is a power cube, which requires compressed coal balls, redstone block, and cobblestone. Now, this is not that difficult. It's just going to require some coal. Um, so it's going to require, what, 16 coal? It's a little bit, but not that bad. Um, how are we doing on power, though? That's my concern. Not that good. So let's get the rest of this coal. Um, I really need to go mining very soon. 
Uh, that is full. So what we'll do is we'll take this out. I want to grab uh, my engineering hammer. And because I don't really care about creosote oil right now, we can go ahead and break that, place it, hammer it, and then we can put more coal in there and we'll get some more coal coke. Uh, so we need to macerate all of these guys in order to get the um, coal, compressed coal balls. Um, so coal dust is just macerated. Uh, I believe it's this one. And uh, pretty easy to get. You can also do the blocks. I don't know if it takes longer or anything. Are you out of... No. Okay, you're just mad because I took it out. I wonder if it's going to be better to compress... Uh, to uh, grind this up. I think so. And... Um, yeah, that is taking forever. So there's 10. We'll get a little bit more. And then we need two flints. Uh, so let's get that. I think it would be better to do the actual blocks rather than anything else, but I don't really have much coal right now, so... Oh well. Um, the other thing that we can look at while we're doing that is... Um, we need to get some sort of power. So there's three options. Hand crank generator from calculator. Uh, the, the clockwork engine from forestry. Uh, that I know can kill you, so I don't know that I want to use that. Um, or the survivalist generator from extra utilities too. So the survivalist generator is kind of terrible. It's, it's super efficient, but it has like a five RF per tick generation. Um, it's not very good. Uh, and what we're going to want is the coal generator from actually additions. For now, I think, um, this guy, which does require advanced machine casing, which is advanced alloy. Um, not that one, this one. Advanced alloy, steel plates, and carbon plates. So a lot of coal and the basic machine and then some black quartz uh then some cold coke and reinforced stone the reason we can't make it now is because we need the calculator to make the reinforced stone all right so that sounds like it's done how are we doing on power not too bad so there's the coal balls and then we just put that in here compress it and we'll be good so the coal generator is what we're gonna want um, otherwise, I'd use the water wheels from uh, Immersive Engineering, but we need to get the Kinetic Dynamo for that. And in order to make that, we need... Actually, we could go ahead and skip to that. Uh, we could skip to that right now. Other than we need copper wire. Which we could do. Um, it's a terrible recipe. But we could do that pretty easily. Um, I guess we only need eight, eight copper plates. We could make that and then make the water wheels. Uh, that might be what we do. I think I've gotten, let's check real quick. Did I get, I got two Inori crystals from, uh, the chest. So we could go ahead and do that. Uh, that might be a little bit better just because it's, the water wheel itself requires one steel and then just a bunch of treated wood, which is just creosote oil with wood. Uh, really easy to do, and the uh, the sticks are just treated wood planks. So that's incredibly easy to do. We make we make the stuff that we need and call it a day. Like I hmm. And then we just hook up the power cube to it, and we'll have power for the calculator. Um, the water wheel you're not supposed to have access to until you get the kinetic dynamo. Um, and the reason you're not supposed to be able to get the kinetic dynamo, dynamo is the Inori crystal, uh, which requires the atomic reconstructor, and this guy uh, requires reinforced, reinforced iron, 
uh, one of these iron casings and re enriched gold, which is all um, calculated recipes. So, or at least the the four things on the outside are. So that's interesting. Um, I think we're gonna go with the water wheel. I think that makes more sense to me. So we have a bucket. We have two buckets. Let's go ahead and make the power cube right now. Uh, so it was just cobblestone. Cool. So we'll make the power cube and yeah, I love cobblestone generators. We'll need more stuff. We still need more steel. Um, we'll get that. Probably next episode is when I will go ahead and make that. So I'll probably have to go mining for a little bit for uh, the time being. But we'll get the forge, the tool forge, very soon. Because um, I, I desperately need it. Uh, so we can get the connect dynamo. We're going to need some copper plates. Um, so we're going to need more copper, aren't we? With bronze plates. Um, all right, let's. Uh, oh, where is a cave that's fairly close by? I think there's one over here. Actually, what am I saying? I have a slime sling. I don't need caves that are close by. Uh, let's go this way. We really haven't explored this way. Now, if we want to get the silk touch for our hammer, when we do get the hammer, uh, we are going to need some emeralds. And these guys are probably going to be the best place to get emeralds. Did I take everything out of here? Oh, hello. Hey, hey. 37 rotten flesh or 8 gold. Rotten flesh might be doable. I love the farmers. Those are going to be the ones I want to talk to. Chicken or pork chops. Don't have those. Copper wire. Now there's something I could do. What about you? Make you potions of le leaping. You'll give me stuff. Hey, don't walk away. You're slightly worse. Some bee guys. They're nice and locked up. Um, and then... If you make potion of poison. I don't know that I want that. Uh, let's see. Coal. Nickel. Copper. Wait, okay, yeah, you are trying to rip me off. Um, no thank you. Usually the librarians are good. Auto smelt. Um, 26 paper. I believe... Paper, can we get that? We can get that from rice, sugar cane. I thought you could also... Yeah, books will give you two paper. So he might be a good one. Hmm. Anyways, let's go get some copper. Um, there's a cave entrance over here. Otherwise, we'll have to go mine in the uh, what? The extreme hills. Oh, lag spike. All right. Here is some coal, though. I will take the coal and that was a hole that I just fell into that was a hole in the coal god I'm sorry for that but I had to um, that was too too good of a rhyme anyways tells me there's probably holes underneath the copper no so there's two copper that's four copper let's take some iron I have plenty of iron at home but never have too much iron Alright, we can come down here now. And yeah, there's a bunch of copper right here. And that is more than enough to get a block of copper to get the stuff we need. So let's get back home before it gets dark. It's getting dark. 
but it's not too far to get home, so... That could have been bad. Um... Cool. So, we're home. Let's uh, macerate this. Well, let's sleep first. Then we'll macerate the uh, copper. See how much steel we have. I'd love to get a little bit more steel before the end of the episode. So let's get nine. We're going to smelt it up, so... God, we have two steel. And... Oh, it's, it does that. So... Uh, unfortunately, if you have a single universal cell, it will pump and keep this at 800, um, rather than uh, wait until it needs all the uh, the stuff before it does the thing. Um, so usually you want to keep at least two in there. It makes it easier. Let's put like eight more coal in there, and we're gonna need a little bit of carbon. Um, dust here soon, but uh, the Inori Crystal uh, let's see, we also need we have the Power Cube so, Kinetic uh, Dynamo and the Water Wheel is that two? alright, so we need the, these two things um, we have a little bit of treated wood as it is we have a decent amount of wood. Let's put the ore away. Get some more power going. So we can get the first carbon. And throw that all in there. So we have three of the nine steel we need. Uh, and it will be soon. Uh, so. How much? We need four of these segments. We need twelve of these segments. So we need um, a lot of stuff. So we need two, five. We need sixty uh, treated wood. So we have nowhere near enough. But let's grab this guy. Let's grab more wood. I'll need to farm some up, and that's that's enough. Cool. So we'll just come over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of a hole in the dirt for the water bucket, and we get two buckets of creosote, um, and we can do this and make it easy. I did not mean to pick up the water. And two more bucket uh three more buckets and then just one more. Awesome. So that should be all the stuff we need for the water wheels. Um we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sets of sticks, I do believe. And then it's something like this. And there's all the segments. So uh, that is pretty much all we have to do for this. Uh, and now we can make water wheels. And we'll go ahead and start working towards the uh, the rest of the stuff here in a moment. Lots of things to kind of keep in mind and work towards and all that fun stuff. So it's a little bit distracting um, trying to keep everything sorted in my head. Uh, but we'll get there. So let's go ahead and make the stuff for the water wheel. So we need the copper. Uh, we'll get a bunch of copper plates here in a moment. And uh, then we can cut them into wires and make this coil. 
which requires um, only eight plates, so it's not that bad. Uh, but we'll also need to make shears, and we'll need a little bit more iron, uh, plus the redstone for the kinetic, uh, and then we'll need three more steel in total. So not too bad, uh, not anything that's super difficult. Uh, not by far, so block cutting machine. Um, let's see, where is iron? We have not enough iron, so we're going to need to get a little bit more. Let's get two blocks worth, because why not? And we'll go get some more power. So... Yeah, this is not going too bad. Like I said, we're going to make the water wheel. Um, that's going to be the easiest early game power. Uh, I don't know if we can make the wires from Immersive Engineering yet. Uh, let's take a look at that. So they are the... We need the LV connectors. Um, there they are. The LV wire connector. Those require Estonia crystals, so not quite. Um, does the guide say anything about moving power? Store power, stores power, doesn't output. Uh, so yeah, the next thing is the atomic reconstructor. Um, and then that that's what unlocks the um, progressive automation. Uh, plus all the immersive engineering stuff. Not gonna worry about that yet. Uh, like I said, uh, we're gonna get the water wheel up and running and then we're going to slowly start working towards everything else. We have four. I don't want to compress a single piece of iron. Four of the nine steel. So yeah, that's definitely gonna be next episode when we get that. Um, Go ahead and start getting all this stuff taken care of. Uh, luckily, creosote oil, we can make more um, water wheels if we wanted to. I don't think that we're going to need to. I think the one for the time being is going to be good until we get more power. Uh, probably one of the best power sources in the game is the canola. Um, I can't remember how you use this. You use it in... Oh, what is it? Is it a dynamo, I think? No. Hmm. I don't remember what we're going to be making. There is a really good RF system that is in Empowered. Um... Do, 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 do. So, Vance, yeah. We're going to want to use the canola seeds to get the canola oil, which we can then use in um, the oil generator. That's what it's called. So, the oil generator is this guy. Uh, this is what we need in order to make a lot of power. This is really good power. Uh, but that's a ways off. Um, that's a couple ages off. So it'll be a while before we get there. Um, not a big deal, but definitely not something we're getting to anytime soon. Uh, now I do want to make, in order to make this stuff, the LV, the wires, uh, we can use shears or we can use engineering wire cutters. Um, I think the wire cutters are going to be better because it's cheaper on iron. And honestly, right now, that's more of the concern than anything else, just because I don't want to deal with getting more and more stuff. Um, power in our system over here is, isn't the best, so that's, that's where I want to kind of save power. Um, so it's just something like this and this. I don't even know if this is used for anything else, but we need eight wires. And then what's the center piece? Is it just a stick? 
just a stick. So luckily we don't need too much wire. Um, one coil is just two recipes worth and then the Inori crystal, copper block, a copper coil block rather, and then our redstone, and there's the kinetic dynamo. So I think this is as good as any point to go ahead and end the episode. Um, next time we are going to get the tool forge. We're going to get our nice hammer. Um, we're also going to figure out kind of the best way to get emeralds. Uh, I might go uh, searching for them. I might not. I haven't decided yet to be perfectly honest. Um, but we could, if I could find a good trade, uh, I might go harvest some rice. And if we can find a good trade, that paper trade might be how we get the block of emeralds. Uh, so I'll figure something out for the emeralds. I'll do that off camera and tell you guys about it. But that is going to be pretty much it. I'm going to wait for the steel to finish up. Uh, and we'll go from there. So next time we will set up the water wheel, start working in calculator, and start progressing uh, to whatever's next. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!